Good afternoon. Welcome to this press conference on the transparency and authorization mechanisms for exports that was announced earlier this week. We have the pleasure to have here with us today EVP Dombrovskis and Commissioner Kiriakides. This press conference will be followed by a technical briefing, so the press conference will be short and we will be able to provide you more details during the technical briefing. So please, I give the floor first to the EVP. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, the Commission has adopted an implementing regulation uh, making the export of certain products subject to an export authorization. Uh, this regulation concerns uh, the transparency and export of uh, COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, the protection and safety of our citizens is a priority. And the challenges we now face left us with no ch other choice but to act. Uh, vaccines are key to the recovery and to bringing the pandemic under control. And uh, 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 delivering these uh, vaccines to our citizens is the most uh, critical task right now. Uh, this is a race against the clock. Uh, we cannot lose time uh, because of vaccines not de being delivered on agreed schedule. Uh, to achieve this, we need to ensure that all advanced purchase agreements uh, for vaccines made by the European Union and are honored. Uh, we paid these companies to increase production and now we expect them to deliver. Uh, today's measure has been adopted with the utmost urgency. Uh, the aim is uh, to provide us immediately with full transparency. Uh, transparency that until now has been lacking and what uh, Europeans expect. Uh, and if needed, it also will provide us with a tool to ensure vaccine deliveries. Uh, the Commission has adopted a strictly targeted measure that will allow us to gather accurate information about the production of vaccines and where manufacturers intend to ship them. Uh, the measure is uh, time-limited and specifically applies uh, to those COVID-19 vaccines that were agreed by advanced purchase agreements. Uh, the measure is intended to run until the end of March. Uh, we have been very mindful of fully honoring our humanitarian commitments and ensuring uh, to supply uh, uh, to many countries around the globe that depends on the European Union. Uh, these countries will be exempted. Uh, we will keep our pledges. Uh, the countries include our uh, neighborhood and those uh, low and low middle income countries covered by the COVAX-19 facility. Uh, we had to design this mechanism to bring transparency, but also to avoid fragmentation within our internal market. Uh, we need to be efficient and ensure vaccines reach people across the EU. This means, uh, means we need to act together and in a coordinated way. Uh, the Commission will be fully involved uh, along with our member states. Uh, in line with uh, international trade rules, we will notify the World Trade Organization of this measure. And now I will pass the uh, floor to Commissioner uh, Kirakidis to uh, uh, first further explain the rationale behind this measure. Please. Thank 